In lesson two, we're going to explore the LED display on your micro bit. Once you understand how these displays are programmed, you're going to start noticing them everywhere, from car dashboards to giant stadium scoreboards, in stores and restaurants, LED displays are everywhere. If you want to learn more about LEDs, remember, you can click the blue word and add it to your toolbox. Like, did you know that LED stands for light emitting diode? I did not. In this project, we're going to do lots of little mini projects from showing a sequence of images on a display, changing the animation speed, displaying text message strings, crunching numbers with a calculator, and programming a push button fast click game. In order to get started, we need to create a new file. Do this every time you start a new program by clicking file and new. If you don't, you're gonna lose all of your previous work. So first click file and then new. Now it's called Untitled Program, but we need to name it something descriptive, like Display. Remember that these files are now in the root folder of your Google Drive. The first step is always to import the microbit library. For microbit, import star. Enter display.show image square. You're already familiar with this command. So instead of showing, say, a heart or music quavers, instead we're going to show a square. display.show parentheses image with a capital I dot square, all caps. Run your program and make sure that it's displaying a square. If it's not, debug. If it is, move on to the next step. Now we're going to display two images, but heads up, the code below may not do what you expect. On line one, we have import. On line two, we have image square. And on line three, we're going to add image happy. So hit enter, display.show. parentheses, image with a capital I, dot, happy, and all cap. Now, before you run your program, let's see what you think the code should do. So look at the test your knowledge question. What do you expect the code to do? Show the images for about one second each? Mm, that seems plausible. Display only the first image? Mm, I don't think that's true because there are two images. I think it will display both of them or display each image quickly and end showing the last one. Well, these two are pretty similar. Show the images for about one second each or display each image quickly and end showing the last one. Well, it doesn't say anything about one second each, so I think it's gonna display each image quickly and end showing the last one. All right, well, that was the correct answer, so press the run and try out your code. Now watch your micro bit. You might need to run it a couple times to see what's going on. I don't know about you, but all I saw was happy. Don't see the first image? That's okay, press next. All right, let's see what's going on. Why is only the last image showing up? Your program ends very quickly. It doesn't wait for you to see the first image before it shows the second one. Okay, well, the theory is both images are being displayed, but how quickly is quickly? The square is only displayed for a very short time, too fast to see, and the happy image is the last thing displayed. All right, let's test this theory by adding a couple more lines of code. All right, remember, if you wanna see what you've already done, you can click to reveal what you already have. So underneath happy, we're going to add two more lines of code display.show image house and display.show image asleep. Now press the run button to try out your new code and watch your micro bit. Did the program end quickly with the display showing the last image? All I see is asleep. I didn't see the first three. I guess quickly means really quickly. So let's look at this step by step. If you watch this little video, you will see 
that if we step into each line of code, it does show all of them. If the computer has to wait to execute the code until I click step into, then it slows it down enough that I can see each one. So these images here show how it works. You press the step into to load the code, then press it again to run it, and then waiting at the red box, next runs the line again. All right, now it's your turn. Click next, and you're gonna use the debugger. Show me how to step. The step button loads the code into the micro bit and waits on the first line. So whatever line is in red, that's the line it's waiting on. It will not execute the red box until you click step again. So you're going to do this, stepping through your code, one line at a time while watching your micro bit to see if it's showing all of the images. So go ahead and pause while you do that. Did you see each image while stepping through the code? Yes, awesome. Now we need to slow it down so that we can see it. When you want to step slowly through the code, all the images show up, but you need to wait to delay the computer so it does it even if you're not using the step into. So we use the command sleep to delay, click delay for more information, for 1000 milliseconds or one second. One second should be plenty of time to see the next image. So after each image, you're going to add sleep 1000. After happy, and after house. Note that we don't put it after it's sleep because it's the last thing on the display. So we don't really need to say to sleep for a thousand because it's already doing that. All right, now when you run your program, you have one second, which is plenty of time to see each. Were you able to see all images in the sequence? Excellent.